check in tomorrow at 12 a.m. Check out the day after tomorrow um, at 12 a.m. Guests, one, room preference, city view, email, abc at gmail.com, phone number, one, two, three, four. Is everything correct? Correct. Today, MC Automation will show you how you can create a voice AI bot using WAPI and Make.com. I am thrilled to be here to talk about the latest innovation in the world of automation. That is the WAPI AI assistance integration with Make.com. As a business process automation company, we have seen firsthand how automation can transform the way we live and we work. So, Today, in this video, I will talk to you about how the WAPI AI Assistant can be paired with Make.com to revolutionize the way your business works. Imagine having an intelligent AI Assistant that not only understands your needs, but also acts very fastly. That's exactly WAPI AI Assistant do. WAPI is an AI-powered virtual assistant that is designed to handle sales, customer service, and marketing tasks. It will leverage natural language process and machine learning to interact with customers, answer queries, and perform various tasks typically handled by humans. Now, let's discuss about the core functionalities of WAPI. First one is that customer interaction, where WAPI can engage with customers through voice calls, chat, etc. Second one is the lead generation and qualification, where WAPI can identify the potential leads and can collect their data and analyze the customer's quality. Third one is that the personalized recommendation. Fourth one is the appointment scheduling. And the last is the data collection and management. Now, let's talk about the benefits of using WAPI. The first one is a 24 into 7 availability where customer can get the support throughout the entire day. Second one is the scalability. Third one is the cost efficiency. Fourth one is the consistency. And the last is the efficiency. But the magic truly happens when we integrate this with make.com. As we know, Make.com is the most powerful automation tool that help you to connect various apps and get automated. So, you can start with Make.com by using our magical link that will give you one month free pro plan and I have given the link in the description box below. So, in this video, I will show you the basics of API Assistant, how it can be integrated with Make.com, how we can do a inbound call and finally, I will show you how we can set up a beautiful WAPI AI Assistant. Now, let's start WAPI. You can uh, sign in to WAPI through Google, uh, through Twitter, through Discord. Once sign in, you will see a home page like this, where you can see an overview, voice library, call logs, etc. In the overview, you can, you, uh, you can see assistants, phone numbers, files, tools. Assistant is the place where we create an assistant. Phone number is the phone number we imported. And in here, here you can see the files. File is a place where we upload the documents. Like if you want to feed some information to WAPI, you can upload a document here in the file section. And here there is tool, voice library. And here you can see call logs. Call logs is a place where you can see all the history of the calls we have made through our assistant. Now, let's consider we have an hotel named as Travel M Square. So, we are going to build a voice A assistant that will talk with the customers to take the information like check in, check out, their name, their phone number and everything. And what we are going to do is that we will take this information from the voice A assistant and we will store in Google Sheet. So this is what we are going to do. Now let's go more deeply about this. Now I will show you how you can create an assistant. For that, I will press create assistant. Here you can see there are few templates like appointment setter, customer support, import question answers, game and PC. Here you can also select a blank template. For now, I am selecting an appointment setter. So once you have selected this, you can press continue. And now a customization page will come where you can customize your voice voice code. Now in this video, I'm, I will show you how you can create an A hey assistant for your company for example my company name is travel m square so i will show you how you can create a bot which will answer to the customer queries for example if a customer need to book a hotel room my bot will answer and fetch all the details from the customer and store it somewhere like in google sheet now i will show you how you can create a voice bot so you can customize the voice bot name as john So 
So now I have created a board name as John. Here inside the first message and system prompt, one message and one prompt has already been set up. So what I need to do is that I need to customize it according to my needs. Now I will show you how you can customize a first message and system prompt. For, for that, here I have saved my message. So I will go and copy this and I will come here and I will paste my first message here. So basically my first message is hi there, I'm John, welcome to Travel and Square. So you can customize your own message according to your needs. Now I need to customize the system prompt. Here I have already built a prompt. So what I'm going to do is that I will copy this and I will paste here. So my first message and my system prompt has been set up. So you can see you are a John, a hotel booking assistant. Your role is to assist call, callers in booking a hotel room at Travel and Square. So this is the way I have set up my system prompt. On the right side, you can see the provider. Here there are few providers like OpenAI, Together AI, and AnyScale, Open Router. Likewise. So here I have selected the provider as OpenAI. And here in the model, you can select the three models. Like there are four zero clusters, 3.4 turbo clusters, four turbo clusters. Now I'm going to choose it as GPT-4 turbo cluster. And you can set up the knowledge base, temperature, max tokens, detect emotion. So once it has been set up, we will go to the transcriber section. Transcriber section is a place where it's allowed to configure the transcription settings for the system. Here you can see provider language model. Here I have selected the model uh, provider as deep jump. Here I am going to set up the language as US. So English E and US. So you can also select the model you want. Here, I'm, here I have selected the model as Nova 2. Likewise, invoice. This is a place where you can configure your voice. So here, if you can, you can set up the background sound. You can set up the punctuations, stability, clarities and similarities, etc. So you can customize according to your needs. The, and the fourth one is the functions. Functions. You, here, you can define the custom functions. Let's create the new function. So as we look on the model, here I have described call the book hotel room function. My function name should be book hotel room. So I will copy this book hotel room. And here I will describe my function name. Hotel. So once the function name has been given, you can describe the function's description. And here you can see the properties. So you can set up the properties. The aim of my A boat is that I need to fetch the, the data like phone number, email, check-in, check-out, room preference, guest number from the client, from the customer. So I need to describe the properties likewise. So first one is the phone number. So I will give as phone. Here you can describe the properties. Here you can select the data type. Once it has been done, you can press save. And next property is that email. And next one is the check-in date. Next one is checkout. Checkout date. And the next one is guest number. And the last one is room preferences. Here room preference, you can select the preference like city view, normal room, suite room, etc. So I have customized like that. So once it has been done, here you can see a server URL part. It is a place where hand URL to handle function call. So either you can give the webhook URL here. So uh, this, will, this URL will collect all these informations. So I will show you how it works. So once it has been done, you can set, select add. Now the, this custom function has been set up. If you want to add an another function, you can create a new function. Likewise, you can create the custom function. So when you scroll down, you can see enable end call function, dial keywords, like uh, dial keypad, etc. These are the predefined functions. And you can see the option of forwarding phone number here. And 
here you can set up the end call phrase like goodbye talk to you soon etc so this is the functions customization next is that advanced here advanced you can see you can see privacy well, this section allow you to configure the privacy setting of the assistant here you can enable the recording here you can see the pipeline configuration like silence timeout response delay nlm request delay inter interruption threshold maximum duration so in the maximum duration you can set up the maximum number of seconds a call lasts so i had set up it as into 3600 seconds messaging message configuration for messages that are sent to and from the assistant will be configured here inside here you can see the server url it is used to communicate messages via http post request here you can pass the url inside this option when you scroll down you can see the client messages where these are the messages that will be sent to the client's sdks here you can see the server messages where the, these are the messages that will be sent to the server url configured here you can select the options you need and when the when, and you can see the voice call message here this is the message that assistant will say if the call is forwarded to voice voicemail here i had configured as you have reached the travel m square you can customize as your need and on down part you can see the end call message this is the message that the assistant will say if it ends the call here i have given as thank you for contacting the travel m square have a great day so this is the way advanced section works now let's customize the voice here you can see on the on the provider i will select it as assure and on the voice andrew i will give the voice as andrew like if i if you need a male voice you can customize like and if you need a female ai assistant you can customize it that way so now i need a male assistant so i have selected andrew so i selected andrew and i will press the publish button now let's try john for that i will go here and i will press talk with john call is connecting hi there i'm john welcome to travel square hey john hello how can i help you book a room at travel square today thank you likewise you can talk with the assistant through web now let's see how we can connect john ai assistant with make.com for that i have created a scenario in make.com first one is a custom web book that will fetch the details from the assistant http make a request module that will fetch the information about the code search row module of google sheet and add a row module of google sheet and update a row module of google sheet so inside the john assistant inside the custom function book hotel room you can see there is a server url part so we are going to pass this this web book to server url part so i had copied and pasted here so the idea is that whenever we call customer call to assistant assistant will fetch all the information like email phone number check in date guest number check out date room preference and once they have fetched all this detail they will pass to this server url so this is the main idea once this has been set up we will press the publish button so this will trigger when the call fetched when the assistant fetch all the details and from here we will get the call id and we will pass to this http module here we will get all the details regarding that call and you can refer this documentation to work on this and once it has been done we will search the record if the record is existing there what we are going to do is that we will update by update a row module if the record is not there we will add it as a new row so the google sheet which i made is the travel m square and here there are columns like email check in date check out view personal phone number the number of guest number transcript uh, what what is the transcript in that call like summary the stereo recording url all these details can be stored here so next i will show you how this board works hi there i'm john Welcome to Travel Square. Hey John. Hello. How can I assist you on with your hotel booking at Travel Square today? I need a room. 
Great. Can you like please provide me like with your check in uh and um check out dates? Check in is tomorrow 12 a.m. Check out is day after tomorrow 12 a.m. Thank you. How many guests will be staying? One. All right. And um do you have um any room preferences such as room type or view? Uh city view. Okay. Just to confirm. Got it. Just to confirm. You like would like um to book a room with a city view for one guest. Checking in tomorrow at 12 a.m. and checking out the day after tomorrow uh, at 12 a.m. Is that correct? Yes. Perfect. Could I have your contact information for the booking confirmation? Please provide your email and phone number. My email is abc@gmail.com. Thank you. And your phone number, please. Uh 1234 Thank you for the payment. Would you prefer to on pay now or upon arrival? Upon arrival. All right. I will proceed with booking your room. Just to um confirm one last time. Check in tomorrow at 12 a.m. Check out the day after tomorrow um at 12 a.m. Guests one room preference city view email abc at gmail dot com phone number one two three four for one guest. Is everything correct? Correct. Your booking at Travel Square is well now confirmed. You will receive a confirmation email shortly. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Thank you, John. Now you can see it has been triggered. Yes, inside the custom web book, you can see that uh, the message, function call, every parameter details has been fetched from the customer, like phone, email, guest number, check in, check out, everything. Now here you can you can see on HTTP module the information regarding the call like transcript the summary uh, the uh, the messages we we passed everything has been successfully fetched now let's see the Google sheet you can see that uh, the item has been added yeah with the uh, the preference the guest number phone number transcript summary URL but the possibility is John Jobs here from managing your home automation to handling your customer care service. Integration of Make.com with Webby's AI assistant can streamline both aspects of professional and personal life. Thanks for watching our video. For more exciting videos, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel.